Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome today to sellbydiy.com. My name is Jack and I thank you for joining me on this video today. We are going to be talking about DIY. That's right. That's what I love to do is DIY, but even more specifically, how to DIY your own home theater. And many people think when they hear the phrase, the two words, home theater, they think mega bucks, they think big time money. I have to spend so much money to put a home theater in my house. And that's just not true. Because what I'm gonna show you today is exactly what I did over the last year. This has been a journey, it just didn't happen overnight. But what I've done to put myself in a position where we can have a home theater at our house, but do it very inexpensively considering all of the options. I will say that we have done our home theater for $2,000. I know that's crazy. For some of you might think like, that's just, that's a lot of money. Others might, might say, well, that's not a lot of money considering how much you really could spend, and that's true. So what I wanna do today is just walk you through the journey. We're gonna, I'm gonna show you everything that I've done, try to reiterate how much I spent on the different aspects of it, and hopefully encourage you in your journey to DIY home theater. All right, you ready? Let's go, let's go check it out. Very first things you think of and consider when you're talking about home theater is the projector. What are you going to do for projector now? You know, if you really get into research, you'll find that, I mean, there are projectors out there that literally are like $30,000, like a brand new, amazing car. Uh, that's right, a projector that costs as much as a brand new car. Uh, unfortunately, uh, that's not my kind of budget, and I'm trying to keep things a little more simple than that. So what I did was some research on uh, inexpensive home theater projectors, and I found this one that had great reviews. It's a, a brand called Optoma, and it has done, so far, an amazing job. And I'll take you, I'll get you a little closer and take you up and show you uh, what this is all about. Okay, so. Uh, we installed the projector on this down rod, um, this mount, the ceiling mount. It starts here with our cable box. So behind our cable box is an H, a 50 foot HDMI cable. It runs up there. You can see it going straight up to the ceiling. It goes across our ceiling and down behind the drywall through a port that goes into our sound bar. And then out of the sound bar comes another 50 foot HDMI cable, runs up the wall, through the ceiling, back here, and comes directly into this HDMI port right there. You can see the yellow tag, it says, connect end to TV slash projector. Okay, that's how we get our audio video, running from our cable box to our sound bar, and then all the way back to our projector. There you'll see another HDMI port, a USB for power, and we have a few other things here. It is a full 1080p, um, projector and uh, it's done really good you know the truth is when you when you talk about projectors especially you know projectors that aren't like uh, super top of the line the quality you're gonna lose a little bit on the quality only because you know of the lighting and everything it's gonna wash it out a little bit especially you know if you're as far back as I am uh, now if you have a short throw lens or a reverse lens and the projectors behind the screen, then you know you'll probably get uh, a little closer to what is normal, uh, your normal video quality. But for me, you know, it, it is a little bit. Um, the quality isn't as great as a TV. Now, I will say, when all the lights are off, man, it is nice. Uh, it's just when the lights are on, uh, it, it dulls it out a little bit. But overall, this is a great projector. I've really enjoyed it. I've had no issues, not one single issue with Optoma. So if you're an Optoma representative. You guys did awesome. Great job. Uh, I would I would recommend this for sure. So the next thing as well uh, that you obviously will think about in a, uh, a home theater will be a projection screen. Um, I decided as I was doing research, I decided to uh, to to go big because uh, I have the wall space. So you can see my wall uh, is a very big wall and 12 foot high ceilings. So I was able to really go big and. You know, I started uh, prior to my home theater in our old house, I had a 65 inch TV that I thought was just massive. And so when I started considering, we moved and I started considering the home theater, I thought, well, uh, let's do a 135 inch, you know, it'll be about double the size 
of what my 65 inch was. Man, I built this screen, put it up, and this thing is like four times the size of my 65 inch. So it is a really big screen. Again, it's 135 inch. I bought it on Amazon. I paid about $330 for it. Oh, I forgot to tell you as I'm just thinking about price and cost. The projector, the Optoma projector, uh, was around $550. So just wanted to throw that in there because I told you I would tell you how much I spent on different items. So this screen itself was uh, three, it was, I can't remember the exact number. It might have been as high as 350, as low as 320-ish, something like that. Uh, but it, it was a fantastic purchase. Um, it, it came in, you know, all the, you see the black uh, framing that is metal, but um, there's a, like a velvet wrapping around it. Um, I guess that's what you call it, it's not felt. I guess it is like a velvet tape or whatever, but it's wrapped, it's built onto it, wrapped around it, and then the screen, if you put the, uh, the sides and the frames together, then you stretch the screen out behind it and snap it all around and then it comes, comes out looking like this. It is uh, really, really an amazing screen, uh, super solid, and the, uh, the fabric itself is, is awesome. I would suggest it highly, big time. So um, this 135 inch screen, if you got the room for it, go big or go home. So one other thing that I did, and my kids, you know, my kids are hilarious. They, they're like, dad, you're so extra. You're always so extra. And I'm like, what are you talking about, extra? And it's because I like, to, I like to put lights behind my TVs, behind my screens and stuff. And they just think that's the funniest thing in the world, man. And I'm like, what's, what's wrong with that? Anyway, um, I, I decided to uh, go a little extra and, um, and put some nice LED strips behind my screen. Uh, now you can buy some really cheap ones on Amazon. You can, you know, really inexpensive ones. I decided to go with a little bit nicer of a, an LED light, uh, mostly for quality and like longevity. Um, these are called Dowls. That's the product, D-A-L-S, Dowls. And uh, I had to buy four or five strips um, and so I could go all the way around my screen. And I gotta tell you, it probably cost me almost $200 for them. I know that sounds crazy, like why would you spend 200 bucks? But um, they are really nice lights and they also come with an app where you can, um, you can change your lights, you can do a whole bunch of stuff with it. So I wanna show you here real quick, this is our hub. This is how we run everything smart and I'll, I'll do a little quick uh, insert on this here in just a few moments, but let me start uh, and, and show you a little bit about the lights. This is our app, so I have them upstairs on our TV and then also our projector screen down here. Uh, when you press that, that's the power button, you know, it just turns them on and off. And then we'll turn it back on here. The cool thing is, is that you have all sorts of options that you can change the colors. It's not just like one of those little remotes where you just press the, the little buttons, you know? Uh, here you can do literally whatever you want. Uh, you can do diff different colors. Um, and I'm just gonna show you here, you know, all, as you turn it, or as you just move this across the wheel, it changes the colors, right? It just kind of changes them to whatever you land on, that's the color it is, okay? And then it also has these little presets here so you can preset it to whatever color you want. I have these preset because these are the ones I like the most. Okay, so we're gonna go back there. Pretty cool, and then at the bottom, you have different functions, like you can do green gradual, you know, um, you can do red gradual, uh, you can do, oh, there's like tw 20 different options here. Red, green, crossfade. So, um, you know, you, you're probably not gonna use these on any normal any normal situation, but uh, for a party or for a football game or something like that, you might, you might wanna use different those different um, functions. You can also, I don't really use this, uh, but you can uh, put your lights to music. It's pretty cool. So you can select a song from your, your playlist and then it will pulsate along with the beat. Kinda cool. I don't really use it very much. Um, and then here's the camera. Uh, you can actually capture colors, you know. If you see a color you like, you can use your camera and capture it, and it will, um, your your lights will go to that color. So, pretty cool. That's, uh, those are the lights for the back of the screen. Again, I spent about 150, roughly, uh, 
pardon me, I gotta go back to here and put them on normal color. Okay, yeah, I spent about uh, about 200 bucks or so on these lights, and uh, I think they were really, really worth it. Okay, another aspect of lighting in your home theater will be your house lights. Um, so what I've done is I have two sets of house lights. I have these that are kind of like right over the screen. Um, as you can see, I have them colored to match the back of the screen, you know, those those LEDs back there. So they're about the same. It kind of gives a, uh, I don't know, just a balanced light approach up here. But then I have these backlights. These are, um, uh, these are just regular daylight bulbs. They're LED bulbs. Um, they're just on and off. They do dim, but they're, they're mostly just kind of on and off. Um, these here are smart bulbs. So we can change the colors to whatever we want. Uh, they are they're really nice and the main reason that I bought them was and Installed them was to give it just that overall color scheme up here by the the uh, projector screen um, But also to soften the light because I had daylight bulbs up here, and it was just too bright even when I would dim them um, Still washed out quite a bit of color, so um, So you'll you'll want to if you're gonna do your own home theater consider getting some smart bulbs in uh, the space that you have, and that way you can um, you can adjust them to whatever color you want, and you ha you have different options. And we also have that here on our hub. So uh, it's called Fight Ele Electric. Fight is the uh, the name of the company. F E I T. That's who produces the bulbs. So uh, so here's what we have. Um, I have all those smart bulbs on a group. Here you can see it says basement lights. If I press it once. Then it turns them all off. They go off and they go on together. But if I press and hold it, you know what? I left, I pulled my finger off too quickly. Okay, if you press and hold it, then, um, then you have options. So here you can adjust the brightness and at the bottom, you have all sorts of different options here. I have my, this is my recent color, but if I selected that, I'm sorry, that's not what I want to select. This is it. The color, I can choose whatever color I want those lights to be. And then that will go here to my most recent color. Um, you also have a daylight color, you have cool white and soft white. Um, you have some other options here. You can go from, you know, cold, not cold, um, um, like daylight to, to warm colors for your, um, for your light bulbs itself. So it's a really, you know, it's just nice to be able to control the those house lights, the ones that are right next to the projector screen, control them through the app on our little hub here. Cool. So that's, uh, those are the house lights. Okay, so this is our, um, our surround sound, our speaker and our audio system. Um, I really, really like it. It's the uh, Samsung QT8500 series. Um, it is a really nice uh, surround sound system. It is uh, excellent quality. There's a lot of really great features on it. I'm not gonna go through every feature, but, um, but it is really important. I just wanted to show you kind of what we have. This is a really nice big sound bar. It also comes with two wireless rear speakers and a subwoofer. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the audio on and you can kind of get a feel. I do have this mounted directly underneath the screen with a sound bar mount. That mount cost me about $40, $45. So uh, you'll want to get one of those if you do have a uh, projection screen. Turn on the lights. Produces excellent sound. How can you be sure if there were no Samsung QT8500. So what you hear there is mostly just from this sound bar because we're kind of in a spot where you really can't hear the, uh, the rear speakers all that well. Uh, but you'll be able to hear them in a little bit whenever I do a demo for you for the whole thing. Um, I'll go back here though, you, you can't at least see them. Uh, I do have one mounted up in the ceiling there and I have another one mounted up in the ceiling there. So they produce some really quality uh, sound, some of the stuff that the, uh, the, the sound bar just doesn't pick up. And, and because it's behind you and up a little higher, 
it, uh, it really pulls in the full quality sound. I really do enjoy it. Again, it's Samsung QT8500 series. Uh, it's a great sound, surround sound system for us, and I know it would be for you as well. Okay, so I know I've referenced this a couple times, um, is our central hub. I did wanna just kind of explain why and really what this is. So really what I wanted to do was to create a central hub where all of our smart features can be um, can be operated from that. So we wouldn't really have to use our phones uh, or even even the remotes themselves as much. Um, you know, I, everything that we have in this home theater that is smart is all on this hub. Now, of course, as you can see, it's an old iPhone. I was not gonna go out and pay hundreds and thousands of dollars for this super smart system. I wanted to just get the job done and the easiest way to do that was, was this. So I have an old iPhone here, as you can see. I already showed you a few of these features. The uh, Fight Electric, that is our smart bulbs in our, um, uh, our house lights. I also have a Sonos uh, speaker down here and it's it's not connected to the surround sound. It's, it's in the back, but we do have that app and we're able to play music and do everything from from here on the Sono speaker. This is the Dowls app and this runs, again, runs our lights for behind the projector screen. And then lastly, this is awesome, uh, it's our SmartThings app. This runs our uh, the sound system and the surround sound. So it's all built in here. And if I click on that little uh, little button there, now we're loaded into, we're, we're into the uh, Samsung soundbar so here's our volume so as you can hear behind me uh, this is adjusting the volume as uh, as it's playing so that's cool and then let's turn that down okay and then at the bottom you'll see there's uh, the sound mode you can change the sound mode the equalizer even the subwoofer there as well so it's really cool to have all of those uh, right here on our hub. And then anytime we ever get a smart feature, some kind of a device that, that can be utilized through the system, then we'll put it on to this iPhone. There's no other apps. I took everything off of the iPhone uh, except for these apps here. I'm gonna turn this volume down because it is kind of distracting me. There we go. Okay, uh, so yeah, anytime we get a new smart device, uh, for the for the home theater, we'll put it on here. Everything else, I took everything off of it, so it's only for the home theater. It is a, it's nice to have a, a hub like this. So you know, we all know that when you're talking about home theater, you're you're talking about comfort. You you want to be comfortable. You want to be in an environment where you can just kick back, chill, relax, watch a movie, watch a sporting event. You know, where you can just relax and. When I was thinking about relaxing, I was thinking big, like the biggest sectional I could possibly think of. And this is the one I found. Uh, it's an amazing, uh, just so comfortable and it's perfect. It's huge, it fits our space really, really well. Uh, the one thing I will say though, is that uh, this, uh, this sofa uh, is not included in the $2,000 number that I mentioned. Uh, and the reason why I didn't include that is because this is kind of an all purpose sofa you know it's not just for um, you know for watching a movie it is it's the sofa we have in our basement so um, you know we, we would have one down here whether we had a, um, a home theater or not so I didn't include that into that two thousand dollar number but uh, but we did get this it's it's just awesome it's pretty cool because it does have some headrests here that pop up it's this nice modern sleek look and you can see it there and then uh, we have the same thing on that side as well. We have those uh, uh, two headrests that pop up on that side too. But man, we just wanted to be really comfortable. Uh, my daughter had a party here a couple weeks ago and uh, she had like 15 of her friends over and they just crammed into this thing and we're watching movies and stuff. And it was, you know, just it's exactly what we wanted just to be able to fill it up with people and uh, be, be really comfortable while we're hanging out in the home theater. So yeah, you'll wanna consider a really comfy setup for you in your home theater, whatever it might be. Okay, so I uh, thought last thing I would do is just really show you what the whole thing is like when it's, um, when it's all going. So uh, I've got the lights on, video on, 
uh, everything going. So I'm gonna turn the, turn the volume up and uh, you get a feel of what our home theater is like when we're watching movies. Okay guys, that's it. Man, thanks for joining me on this journey of our DIY home theater. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and do me a favor and like this video, uh, subscribe to my channel, comment, share, do all those things, because that really helps me to just kind of know what's vibing with you guys and what kind of content I can share, even give more of uh, out to you. Because I, as I said before, like my whole goal is to encourage, to inspire, and to equip those of you to DIY, uh, to do the things around your home uh, that can enhance your home, that can encourage you and give you purpose as you are a homeowner. It's a lot of fun, it's exciting stuff, and I hope today really encourage you. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, all those things. I really would love to, uh, to hear from you. But again, thanks for joining on this video. I appreciate your time, and we look forward to the next time.